Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file, of course, because of what we unlocked last episode, we're going to jump in as Lilith, the tainted version, because this character is kind of awesome. Um, I've been missing out on good old tainted Lilith, because tainted Lilith is one of those characters that just starts off so insanely strong that it means you can kind of breeze through the early flaws, and that those the early flaws are always the ones that are like the least interesting because obviously you have the least amount of items and it's kind of a struggle whereas yeah now it's just like go on through um don't know how good eyesores is for us um i actually it's pretty good it's pretty good it's pretty good um i'm just gonna quickly see if or also it kind of looks amazing on lilith with eyesores like we got all the holes in her head Hey, I was hoping that would be the case. I wasn't 100% sure, but we don't get much out of this. But Abomina Key, not too shabby. Not too shabby. But yeah, we just start off with such an egregious amount of power as this character. Um, but yeah, we get to like have a little bit of a breeze through the early game. And she also has some fun synergies too. Like Mum's Knife has a really fun synergy with her. Uh, with this character and stuff, so we'll try and look out for those sort of things if we can. Obviously, nothing's a guarantee, but we'll see what we can get. And we're just going to kind of breeze right through, straight into the boss here. And whip, whip, whip the whole day long. Whip, whip, whip the whole day long. As for the question of the day today, what's uh, like a sort of specific talent that you would like to learn, but you maybe don't have the time, I haven't got around to you? What's something that's like, it's not something you'd really need... But do you know, like, do you know, like, um, blit, uh, people do, like, tricks with the pens where they flip them around the hands or, like, with a balasong knife where they flip it or, like, a zipper lighter. There's also all those sort of, like, weird little tricks and stuff that people do that you have absolutely no reason to know. It's just entertaining sort of thing or sort of something you might want to do. Is there anything like that you've got that, that you'd really like to just spend some time learning but you've either just not got round to or just don't really have the time for? I'd be interested to know. Ooh, tears up. Lovely. Um, for me, uh, like, as as I just mentioned, one of the ones that I really like the idea of is, like, the the um, Switchblade Balasong sort of dance you can get. I think those are really, really cool. I first saw it on uh, the film Kick-Ass when I was younger, um, and I was, like, super impressed by it. And my friend got one um, a little while back and let me, like, play around with it. And it's, it's obviously not easy, and it's, like, a dulled, like, practice blade, so you don't end up, like hurting yourself um but they look it looks like a lot of fun it really does it looks like a lot and a lot of fun um but it's just like spending the time to learn how to do that for no reason it's just like i've not really got that time on my hands right now but i kind of wish i did I suppose it's just something you can do like while you're sat idly watching tv and stuff but you kind of need to like watch tutorials and stuff to actually get reasonably good at it Learn, like, a few proper tricks and stuff. One of those things that I might get around to eventually. Hello, hello. Can't remember what the rainbow bean does now, but I'll take it on board. Well, so far, things are going very well. I'm going to go angel deal here. I realise I said I wanted mum's knife, but I don't really have the HP to trade away right now. Although, I kind of do. I have, I have a lot of strength, so trading away HP wouldn't be the worst of things. But... Ooh, yes, I'll definitely take that instead. Uh, I'll come back to that if I get enough keys. But yeah, even with the low speed of this character, it, you just kind of destroy everything in your wake. It's it's quite awesome. Also got a morbid heart there. I wasn't expecting that. And then, yeah, this, this little rock spider, the limes... I can't remember what it's called. Limestone spider or something? Whatever its name is. This item's pretty damn good. Um, honestly, I've hit the jackpot with pills at this point. I don't need to touch them anymore. I got myself a, um, a lovely little tears up. That's all I need. Good. I love the whipping sound of this character. It's just so entertaining. So satisfying. It's just like really satisfying to have a character like this to play every now and again where you can just kind of jump on and dominate a little bit. Still looking for item room. I think we're heading to the boss at this point, yeah. I'll do the boss now. Did get hit there. Unfortunate, but not terrible. 
and we got smooth stone which is even better basically any boss that we come across outside of a boss room get swiftly annihilated because we deal a lot of extra damage to them. Uh, I'm fairly confident the secret room being here. Unfortunately, pretty bad secret room. One that has a shell game beggar but requires flight. Those two don't really fit together, do they? I wouldn't say. So many keys, wow. Um, it's kind of nice. Ah, I took a goddamn pill. Gambling. Shouldn't have goddamn done it. Shouldn't have bloody bothered. We got a burn heart out of that, though. I think that's overall pretty good stuff. We also got a massive, massive spider army here, which is pretty awesome. They're going to do a real good job for us. Righty ho, then. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty speedy run, I think, so far. I mean, if we can get some speed ups, it's going to be even speedier because room traversal will be a bit sped up. But so far, things are looking good. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do this. Just so I can get my hugs. Hey, one of the hugs paid off. Give me a soul heart. Also got a little bit of pennies going on. Malformed Penny helped me out there. We also got some flaming rock spiders, which is rather nice. More bombs. My god, my secret room radar is on point right now. On point. God damn it, I said I wasn't going to take pills. And this is what happens. You hit the jackpot with the tears up right off the bat. You don't take any other pills. It's pointless to do so. Left hand. I don't really feel that interested in left hand right now. Haven't really used left hand in a while. I remember in like Afterbirth Plus, left hand was, was kind of a amazing thing to get. Um, but it's yeah, I don't know. Now... Just doesn't feel as good as it used to, as it, as it once did. Good, good. God damn, it's just crazy how quickly you can just burst through most rooms. It's basically like this up until the womb. At the womb, if you don't get damage ups by that point, you do kind of fall off a little bit. I, I can't believe all of those whips just missed there. Come on now. Good. There's a chest back here as well. This is where the speed's annoying. We have to like backtrack. Uh, watch battery doesn't do anything for us right now. Good. Oh, another chest. I don't even have any luck. I'm getting quite lucky with this. But there you go. I say that, and the game is like, hey, let me let me let me remedy that for you. Just one of those runs where the, the game is just kind of doing everything to stay in my good favor, apparently. I knew I was going to get hit there. I kind of just accepted it. But we only got hit on a morbid heart, which isn't actually that bad. Because um, we can refill it pretty easily if we just find a random red heart on the floor. We do have 15 coins here, so it's definitely worth uh, checking out the shop. And that's pretty damn good. Ability to generate some flies. I like it. I haven't seen item room or the boss yet. Don't know why I'm holding onto this full card, I'll be honest. It's just kind of there as a just in case. I swear, Lilith with a little fat body, um, having slow speed just makes it even more funny. Sadly, not a great item there. Doesn't help us all that much. Oh, God damn it, bad hit. Again, it's fine, because as long as we don't lose the morbid heart, we'll be chill. That was an insane... Insane bomb right there. There you go. We got growth hormones as well as the damage up, and we'll take the wafer. And I guess we'll go for an angel run here because we're just doing well so far, and the wafer just makes things even better. Like that remedies so many potential issues late in the game. Means I can be way, 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 way less attentive with my run, which is not a good thing for me because when I'm less attentive, I tend to screw up even the easiest of runs, but 
Hey, her. Let's just pretend that's not the case for now. Quickly grab the sack. Blowing up rocks is always good for us at the moment. Got hit by that. Not a good hit. Quickly check this out. Anytime that I have the opportunity to get stuff behind rocks, I'm taking it. Because I don't just get the stuff behind the rocks. I also get a bunch of rock spiders too. Which are seemingly very, very helpful right now. What we got here? Necro one. We can take this. Another luck upgrade penny. Awesome. Wow, that guy just died entirely to the rock spiders. That was insane. We got our next angel deal already. Bower Soap is also incredible. Breath of Life is better now, but I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not sure exactly how to use it correctly. I don't know if, like, killing this other guy does anything for us. Oh, wait. What the fuck? He's like a... He's like a demon. Angel deals no longer vanish when another item is taken, but now cost health. Devil deals no longer cost health, but vanish if another item is taken. I will take that. I will take the gamble on that. Yeah. I, d I don't really remember how to use Breath of Life anymore. Okay, that's that's it. You kind of got to... Yeah, there you go. I still, I'm probably not going to use it, I'll be honest. I have it. I, I have, I've somewhat learned how to use it. It's been buffed. That does not mean I'm going to use it. My brain is too small. Vanilla wafer? The wafer plus vanilla wafer. I don't even know if having those two things at the same time helps with anything. Good. Nothing to spawn in the room here. Secret room looks likely here. The instinct is just on point right now. On point. And we get perfection. Interesting to find perfection out of a chest. I'm gonna take it. I doubt it's gonna last very long. We'll just have to see. Got my bees helping me out here as well. Especially with the damage buff we just got from growth hormones. The bees are pretty good. Kind of a, a biggish floor here. Got enough for another item in the shop. I mean, it's not useful now, but I'll buy this in the hopes that we get an active that works alongside it later on. I think that's kind of a lot of the time when you end up buying this, the case. Again, this burn heart normally wouldn't be worth it, but we have the potential of getting little baby rock spiders. The little burn bags are so goddamn help, uh, useful. Still looking for the item room. I'm still looking for a red heart to fill up this burn heart too. I'm hoping I don't lose it in the meantime, but we'll see. Come on, my jelly baby. So many keys, man. What is going on with all the keys right now? I mean, hot and fast. I think we did get a speed upgrade as well from growth hormones, which is rather fitting for what we needed. Trying to play so damn cautiously to not use my not lose my perfection, but we'll see. Good. Good, good. Forget me now, honestly. Yes, please. Um I think I'm just gonna use it now. Redo this floor. The last floor that's like worth redoing, so. Damn. Unlucky with that room. But yeah, we should be able to just speed through this. Get another item 
Potentially, if we get enough money, get another shot. Definitely get another boss item and maybe Angel. Pretty good. Got no curse on the floor right now, so that is pretty good. But, I do think Perfection is obviously potentially a lot better if we can keep it. But that Trinket is a really good backup Trinket for if we lose Perfection this floor, which we certainly could. Come on, you shit. Get over here. As you can see with Perfection, we're just getting tons of stuff right now. Ram's Head is awesome. Beautiful tears up. Actually, a very good tears up and a damage up too. This is in a real good spot. Honestly, I think we might just beeline it for the boss at this point. I don't want to waste too much extra time on this floor. And we are slip slapping right now. Quickly check this. The instinct does not fail me right now. Beautiful stuff. No extra angel deal, but Barasub is incredible. Soul Heart at the start of every floor. And um, a heart container right now. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Our health is absolutely schmacking. Spiders are doing good work when they can too. Perfection's still alive somehow. That is a true blessing. God damn, the amount of bees that we're getting is pretty awesome too. The bees are doing a real good job. I was like, get the hell out of here, you. Another one of these doors. Good room? Yeah, good room this time. Crawl space, indeedly deed. And we get the uh, welting sack. Bomb summon a ring of explosions around them. Bullet explosions destroy projectiles and deal damage to enemies. Pretty good. Hello. He had Bob's fucking brains, so though. He's a little bit he's a little bit screwed. Not quite as lucky as myself. But yeah, considering we did an extra floor, we're still at 14 minutes. Things are looking very, very nice for us right now. And we have a pretty good run going, to be honest. And so you can blow up the heads early, so I will try and do that where I can. All types of snakes. All the snaky boys. No Isaac's fork for me, thank you. It's weird when with perfection you don't get a rune drop. It feels like, excuse me. Also, am I, am I able to whip those guys' heads off? It's kind of crazy. Dude, my secret room brain is just on fire today. Like, every single, like, guess or inkling of a secret room. Also, great item here. Every single guess or inkling of where the secret room might be has been correct. We haven't seen our item room yet, have we? No, we have not. That bark is also a pretty good contender if we lose perfection. That bark makes it so that we uh, leave fires under enemies, I'm pretty sure, something along those lines. Item room is here. We just get the sunken fly. It fine. Right. Boss time once again. With uh, with our bombs, I think we should have a pretty good time here. And then obviously we'll do boss rush as well.
Ah, above it. I was going to say if I keep perfection through this fight, I'll try and drop it before uh, boss rush, but alas. Um, we've taken the key pieces from the top, so we'll take that one. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of good stuff here. We could take Fat Odd Mushroom, but that speed down is kind of rough. I think I'm just going to take Dog Tooth here. It's a bit of damage, but it allows us to find our secret rooms easier, so... Hello, good lads. Be taken down. But yeah, bosses are just no problem for us at all. It's just kind of whip, whip, whip. I whip my child back and forth. Bunch of extra coins there for something or other. You've got your little babies chilling out. You've got your brimstone coming in. Your jumpy jumpies as well. Your jumpy jumpies uh, will be your undoing, good sir. Dude, that bomb almost insta-killed him. Wow. Oh god. Champion guys with their goddamn herming. Screw you, buddies. Hopefully at least one boss will drop a soul heart for us. Damn, all these cool, like, different champions. I love them. Damn, that was a, a quick little scoot you did there, my good friend. Hey, there's a... <clears throat> Look at that, he's spawned and he's dead. Ah! So many other children. Damn it, that was a little bit early. Ah, you bastard! It's okay, it's okay. We already fought the goddamn angels. Get out of here. Okay, we've only got like a wave left, I think. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Didn't pop up in time. Oh, we got this guy again. Mini Isaac in there. Take out all your little friends. There you go. Queen of Clubs unlocked. Sulfuric Acid as well. So now, actually, we have Dogtooth to show us where the secret rooms are and Sulfuric Acid to open the secret rooms. Not a bad combo. Not a bad combo as the two things to get from Boss Rush. So, like, we got one here. We've got the Wafer Baby. There you go. Sadly, it's nothing amazing. Oh, apparently we do have the a crawl space in here. Oh, also sulfuric acid is kind of insane with uh, our rock spider babies. I didn't even think about that. Confused by this. Oh, that's kind of cool. You only get one shot at this, though. There you go. Very interesting room. I like it. Crawl space designs on point. Open mind is a really good trinket. It just doesn't matter anymore. If you get it before you do the alt path, it's it's actually probably one of the most broken trinkets in the game. It literally gives you double items on every single one of the alt path floors. It's kind of crazy. But it's one of those trinkets that like it requires good timing. For it to be useful, you have to get it at the right point in the game. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Although it's still it's still good on angel deals, I think. But yeah, remember we have the wafer at this point, so this floor is nowhere near as scary as it would otherwise be. So 
soul of Azazal. I will most certainly take that. I've been holding on to that fool card forever now. I do not need it. It is stupid to hold on to it for any longer. Soul of Azazel. I don't know where I'm going to use it. Probably just on the hush fight, I guess. Because we unlock Solar Lilith here and we all fucking know how good Solar Lilith is. Pop Justice in case we get a Soul Heart. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. What the hell are these things? I don't have any batteries, but... Interesting batteries there. Never seen them before. Good. The screw's good here. Unfortunately, we got a Devil Deal. Uh, but they remember, they don't cost. So, Devil Deal actually kind of fine here. Because of that Angel item we got. I like the idea of, like, if you bomb an extra Angel statue, it changes things. I like that. Right, at this point we are just on absolute beeline for the boss, of course. I'm taking what is potentially an incorrect direction here, but I'm, I'm hoping for the best. I also got a dog bark in that last room I need to investigate. Ow, bad hit. Unfortunately, I think it's over here. Um... Why has something not been destroyed? There it is, look. Sad times. Sometimes you do not get so lucky with that. Good, good. That is a trinket that just gives plus one damage, so I will most certainly be taking that. Also makes a great noise. And I don't need open mind at this point, so... This room is kind of hell. I'm just going to push through and hope for the best. Hello. You are dead. Baby shoes. Thank you. Right. Push time. Soul of Azazel is probably going to get used here. I don't see why I had to leave, uh, keep it. Rewards card, unfortunately, doesn't do much for us at this point. Explosivo is probably pretty good here. No dog backs and no crawl space. Quince is pretty good too. No crawl space, sadly. And... Toy drum, really good. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Right. Remember, again, we have uh, the wafer, so we're not in too bad of a situation here. Explosivo is fine and dandy for us here as well. Quite a lot of extra damage, actually. I really shouldn't have done that. He's going to go straight underground, isn't he? Yep. Fuck's sake. I just wasted quite a lot of this. My bad. I didn't think about the fact that he always goes underground after like 25% of his health is up. Little bit of a waste. We've got our Quince in decent spots though. Doing pretty good damage so far, I think. Of course, I could just leave this guy out and like let the Explosivos stack up. My dude does auto aim, so. I just don't know what's better. A lot of explosivos are, um... I think the explosivos are better. A lot of explosivos are a whip, but I think the explosivos are better because we generate more bees as well. Or at least we seem to. Right. Come on, big fella. And then these guys, we go back to whipping. It's piercing and takes out a lot more enemies a lot more quickly. 
Get out of the ground, you coward. Stand here. Let the explosivos explode and do their job. Explosivos is such a good item. I remember an AB plus when it used to be kind of meh. It used to basically remove most of your damage on enemies that died quickly. Very annoying. It was still good on bosses, but on smaller enemies it was very frustrating because it would the tier that it was explosivo when it had attached it deal no damage. At least now it deals damage. Ah, shit. There you go, baby. There you go. Simple and easy kill on that guy. Soul of Lilith unlocked. Awesome. And we go up. We're going to do Mega Satan, Isaac, and Blue Baby now. Pretty good run, really, as our first run. I mean, this character is obviously just very powerful anyways, but this is just a all-round very good run in general. So I heard the bar. Tears up. Not bad, not bad. Sadly, wrong way here. We've actually been doing pretty well with going the right way so far. Really, all of those had to have spiders in them, did they? That requirement game. Want these slowing pennies? Why not? Ah, bloody hell, it's you. Ah, the green thing's stuck on me. Fuck you. Oh, hello. Um... Oh, wait, what? Regardless of prior damage, damage ups obtained after will still... I didn't... One minute. Can I drop this? Nah. That's such bollocks. I didn't realize it would lower my fucking damage. I was like, oh, it sets it to seven. It might do nothing or it might give me like a, a one damage. No, it lowered my damage by three. God damn it. <laughs> it doesn't say that specifically in the card either. I, I suppose it says regardless of prior damage. I guess that technically is an all-encompassing uh, catch-all for that. But my idiocy would have at least assumed an angel item couldn't give you a damage down and nothing else. I thought that'd be a bit mean, but apparently it doesn't matter what I think. But it doesn't matter, Explosivo does its job regardless. Beautiful stuff. Mother's Love, great item to unlock as well. Good stuff. We don't know what our items are here. Emoji glasses. Oh, hello. Angel teleport. I will take it. Whoa, -ho -ho, baby. Okay. Well, um, my damage now is, is pretty good. Also, data miner for a heart. Are you kidding me? Key piece one for a heart. I've already got the goddamn key piece. So, what the fuck's going on with my damage now? <laughs> like, I'm confused. <laughs> Why? Why is it now, like, 39? <laughs> Where did that come from? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. But did it, did it, did the thing you just give me, like, an insane multiplier? It must have done, right? So maybe it wasn't all bad. Golden plum. Wowie. Got no more complaining to be done here. What what's the deal with this room exactly?
It's kind of an evil room. Seems like have a bomb or way to destroy rocks or flight or you're screwed. Bloody hell. Get out of the way, Big Johns. Is that a spin down in there? Spin down shard, indeed it is. Not that I need one, but... I'm also going to use Data Miner in the Mega Satan fight to get the uh, Fruitcake effect. I know it's not exactly the best idea because it could fuck with our stats quite a bit, but I'm going to do it. Friendly Sack is another great item unlock. I absolutely love Friendly Sack. Right. Get back over there with our 40 damage. Wow. Yeah, don't know really what happened. I picked up Sacred Heart, which should have put my damage to like 14. I don't know, like, like 20, I think. Not 40. This is not going to be confusing at all. The music's all normal, it's all fine. But yeah, the fruitcake effect, it's nice. I should get an extra soul heart there. Oh my god, that angel is so fucked. Here we go, baby. You are deaded. Might be able to do Delirium here, to be honest. We'll see. It looks like it's in the cards for us, though. <clears throat> the the ever-growing emerges. Ever-increasing emerge sizes. Pretty funny. <laughs> Don't really know how to dodge this, but there you go. You're dead. Are you going to give us the opportunity or not? We'll see. You are not. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we got Fool's Gold Rocks. Awesome. Yeah, see you guys in the next one.